Morning everybody. This is your neighborhood friendly stick man again here with uh, little Susie. Little Susie gave us a problem yesterday on the way to work. She uh she she flagged a uh a code. And the code well was well I'll show you what it is. But uh it kind of surprised me because it popped up while I was driving down the, the interstate. But uh you know how to you know how I hooked this thing up or how it got going. And so I've shown you in the uh, previous videos how to go about see if I can get it turned on. There it is. Oh that didn't work very good now, did it? There we are. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh today I got I'm gonna get out here and I'm gonna see if the code is still here. Uh I'm gonna turn it on. Ignition is on. Radio is off. You guys don't want to hear my 80s. We'll swipe it. Honda. You know what? Let me go back. And I'm going to do OBD. Hit this. Auto scan. Now, what it flagged, actually... And this 2006 CRV was the uh, was the was PO325, and that is a knock sensor. And if you notice right here, it says number of codes stored one. And I'll go back, tell it to read codes, and there it is. It's PO325 present, not combustion vibration sensor, circuit bank one or single sensor. Uh, she only has one, I believe. And uh, I'm going to show you where it's located. We will get out here. And can you see it? I don't either. <laughs> but it's buried down up under here. I have to take this cover off, take these covers off the intake manifolds, and then uh, get down, and it's right up under this set of tubes here, and uh, which means I take uh, a whole bunch of stuff off to get to that. Uh, but what we're going to do instead, oh, excuse me, we'll get in here. And we'll go back. And what I'm going to do is look up. Yes, I want to end it. Go back here. Go here. I want to go here. Go Asia. Now, as one of my viewers commented to me, uh, that you can buy a $20 scanner. To, to reset a code or to read and clear codes. And he's telling the truth. You can. Uh, I wasn't trying to inform anybody that this was the greatest thing since sliced bread. But what it will allow you to do is some bi-directional functions. Operate some valves, some sensors, uh, fuel pump, different things for different types of tests for different vehicles. And so, again, I wasn't trying to uh, to uh, say anything other than that's what you could do. And for people that that have the unit, I don't want to do that. People that, that do have this unit or was thinking about getting this unit, that it will, uh, will help them. Uh, okay, so I'm going to hit PGFI, fuel injection, PGFI. Now, it may say it fails because for some reason or another, and I'm going to have to call somebody about that. But the ECU doesn't fail. Obviously, it works. Um, I don't know what deal is with that. But um, basically, what I'm getting the fat of it is the mill function code is the light is out. Uh, I got up. I went and got some breakfast. And when I came back, when I came back uh, home, it uh, this the. Uh, light was out well when as soon as i hooked the connector up so i guess i i scared it uh but it says knock sensor 
And I could clear this code, uh, but I'm not going to because it says, let me go back. It says mill function uh, or mill lamp out. And that is what I am trying to get to here. And we'll let it go through its little scan. But as you can see, the mill lamp is out. It's approximately here. It's out. And it's okay. We did a, lot, a quick scan. It says number of codes stored one. And we go all up and down. The IM readiness is good and everything is good. But it does have one, one, one code squawked. And of course uh, as it turns out that that is it says it's a permanent code but it's not permanent uh, it can be erased but the mill function or oh, mill ugh, I can't get it right today the malfunction indicator lamp mill lamp is out you see it stakes right here mill status off but it did flag a code so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to clear it today. I'm going to let the code stay in there. And I'm not sure. I can't say it's permanent, but I believe I can clear it. I'm going to let it stay in there, and I'm going to see if it comes back. Uh, also, I hate to admit, little Susie hadn't had plugs in her for... <laughs> uh, let's see. When did the arc land on where it is? Anyway, no, uh, I've never replaced plugs. I know. I'm a bad mechanic. Uh, it's 223... Uh, 400 miles, 350 miles, and I've never, I've never replaced the plugs in it. So plugs can also cause a a knock uh, indication or to flag that code if it's a quick ping or a ping that lasts any while. And what that code basically is, the knock sensor, it prevents your car from, as us old mechanics would call it, spark knocking uh, under hard acceleration. You will, you, some cars you'll hear a pinging. And what this knock sensor does, it recognizes that and it changes the timing so that it doesn't ping and damage your engine. Um, but if the sensor is not good, then it can allegedly start pinging. Uh, if it pings bad enough, it can damage your engine. But if it's light pinging, it's probably not that bad. Uh, I, I'm, I've been using the same gasoline from the same place forever. I, I may switch gas uh, companies and go with another brand. But I think... Uh, Pretty much, you know, if the, if the light comes back on, I'll do some more recording uh, and let you guys know what the deal is. And I'll try to get to that sensor. But it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to change some plugs in this thing. What y'all think? Little Susie's been purring on good. Again, 20, uh, 223,000, excuse me, 430 miles. So she's almost got, uh, she's, she's, she's getting there. And, uh. She keeps on purring. Anyway, this stick, man. I just thought I'd come out and do a little something today. And, of course, uh, PFM, it got fixed. Pure freaking magic. The light went out. Uh, so I did a freeze frame on this thing so I could see what. Uh, oh, I'd actually, I actually took a snapshot to see. Okay, there we are. That's, that's a freeze frame of what's going on with it and how it sits. I took a free a snapshot of it. That's what the engine was doing. And all of that good stuff. Uh, but uh, be as it may. That was the freeze frame codes. PO325. That's the one that is still saying is there. Uh, but I can clear it. But I'm not going to. I'm going to let it come back on its own. And if it comes back on its own. Then I will repair the car. Anyway, you guys have a good day. This is Stick Man. Y'all stay safe out there. And I was going to show you something, but the code didn't come back or the uh, light didn't come back on. So I guess that's that for now. Uh, appreciate you guys for liking and subscribing me, all, all 10 of my subscribers. <laughs> no, thank you guys. I try to pr give you information that you can use, and uh, especially if it's on something like this, this scanner. Uh, all right. You guys take care. And uh, see you next time if the light comes back on.